Hey, hi there Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly predictive reading for January 2020. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. We will be using an oracle card from the deck of numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Okay, Aquarius. Off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. Number four of wands, Aquarius, fire energy. This is a really good positive card. This is stability, celebration, it can be a party, it's good times. It's results in the completion of a stage. Sometimes it's a coming marriage or a romance. It's harvest and home and taking time to pause and relax and enjoy life. You're reaping rewards and something new is soon coming. A happy time. It's success and being happy and productive. Celebration and reward after labor and to pause in activities. Could be a holiday coming. Could be the purchasing of a new home. Or you could be putting down roots or moving in together or celebrating a housewarming. This is the 1111 card portal. It's a twin flame. Brings in a sense of stability, a run of luck. It also brings in a settled quality. This is a rite of passage. It's marking a life transition with ceremony or ritual. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Six of Pentacles, Aquarius, Earth Energy. Someone's moon in Taurus. This can also represent a Libra. This is the equal give and take, others sharing with you justly. There's harmony. It's being in a balanced position concerning the income and the outflow. It's good things coming to you and going out from you. Can be the approval of a loan, or a friend or a family member may lend or give money to help out. But money owed will be paid and prosperity should be shared with others. This is a win-win situation. Dispensation, giving and receiving, equality and fairness and gifts. Could be using your money to make more money. Four of Wands with the Six of Pentacles represents a financial improvement. It's success with getting a loan or a gift and the home that you want. It can also represent a generous community. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're aware of. Here you are, Aquarius, the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere that air is prevalent in someone's chart, you or someone else you're dealing with. This person is, this person is independent and they're mature and they have authority. They have a keen mind. They could be a writer or a lawyer or a minister. They could be in the military or a uniform or be a law professional. They're strong-willed. They've been able to cope with loss. They could be divorced. This is someone that provides solutions with truth and honesty, and they accept life as it is. They're a great teacher and communicator. They have great clarity of thought. It indicates pursuing your desires with strength and maturity. This is someone that treasures solitude. They have a very sharp, keen mind, and they're able to see justice and fairness. The wind passing through the trees symbolize the ongoing nature of change. This is someone that loves to share their knowledge. No one can trick them or fool them. This reminds us to think carefully on our decisions and research other people's viewpoints. This is looking forward to the future and leaving your past behind and making sure your dreams are not interfering with your responsibilities. This person cuts out the BS, and they tell it like it is. Four of Wands with the Queen of Swords. This is happiness is seen with clarity. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the results, the outcome, and the resolution. And being in a future position, this can be a surprise. The Page of Wands, Aquarius, Fire Energy. This can be a communication that brings passion. This can be a person, a younger person, 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. This could be a message, make you eager. It could be an invitation, the beginning of something, a project, a love affair, a new phase in someone's life, a firm decision about a question. This can be a proclamation, a declaration, an announcement, even an invitation. It's a very important inf message or communication to your current project. It usually affects work, although it can be of a social nature, and this information is positive. This is standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction, and we always feel this page's influence when we're drawn to something that can accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express more of who we truly are. This is the fool's little brother. It's being intrigued and hopeful and inspired, trustworthy, a beginner, embarking on self-development, or sensing your potential for creative or spiritual expansion, also pursuing adventure. Four of Wands with the Page of Wands. This is a communication of unity. Now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Eight of Wands, Aquarius. More fire energy. This is a card of movement. It's quick. It's fast. It's Lots of communication coming back and forth, text messages over the internet. It's action, a sudden burst of energy. It's full of surprises and opportunities, and it's up to you to choose. Some of these may be once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, and it does carry some particular risk. So do not act cocky about it, or you may lose it. These can be relationship messages coming in and about to go forward. Could be travel things happening rapidly. It's a very busy and exciting, hopeful period, and positive things are unfolding. It's the end of delay. Messages, letters of love, an approach to a goal that's reaching a conclusion. These are changes on many levels. It's a rapid and swift development with a conclusion. Four of Wands with the Eight of Wands. This is throwing a party, party together quickly could be sending out party invites. It also can re represent a joyful communication. The Six of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords can represent organizing. Six of Pentacles with the Page of Wands this is someone eager to help. They may be overly helpful. can also represent talents in conflict resolution. Six of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands this is sharing information or opportunities quickly. Page of Swords with, I mean, the Queen of Swords with the Page of Wands is sharing passionate ideas or decisions. And the Queen of Swords with the Eight of Wands, this is communicating your thoughts quickly. It's acting on your decisions quickly and, or, or making a quick decision. Page of Wands with the Eight of Wands, this is a communication that brings a quick turn of events, even adventure and travel. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck, Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Aquarius, you've got card number 87. Synchronicity. Card number 87. This card indicates a need to have faith in the universal order of events, even in the midst of hopelessness and uncertainty. There is no such thing as an accident or a coincidence in the universe, and the perfect people and opportunities will appear miraculously when least expected. Even when you can't logically comprehend comprehend how your dreams could possibly come true, you must trust in the magical power of synchronicity to deliver what you need. Remember, it isn't your job to know how things will unfold. It is simply your job to believe and know that all is well. The hows and whens and whos lies in the hand of the divine, but once you surrender the outcome, you are shown the next logical step. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to trust in the power of synchronicity. By living in consistent alignment with the Source through positive thoughts, emotions, and prayer, you will automatically attract miraculous synchronicities into your life. There's an affirmation with this card, and it is, is I have faith that synchronicity will lead me 
where I need to be. Thanks, you guys, Aquarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.